world. Despite their size, ants hold an important role in the environment. Ants turn and expose soil to the air so that water and oxygen can reach plant roots. Ants eat various organic materials and provide food for other life forms. Bear. Bears are mostly omnivores, which means they eat both plants and meat, except for the carnivorous polar bear. Do you know what bears and farmers have in common? They both spread seeds and plant things. Bears eat a lot of berries and acorns. After eating, the food goes through their digestive system. Whilst the nutrients stay in their bodies to give them energy, the waste or seeds become scat. Scat is a scientific name for bear poop. The seeds in the scat will begin to sprout and grow into new plants. Incredible! Cow. Cows are cud, or partially digested food, chewing mammals, known as ruminants. These mammals are divided into two, dairy cattle, which produce milk, and beef cattle, which are raised for their meat. Cows are able to digest substances that are almost impossible for other animals to digest, thanks to their four-section bellies and great digestive systems. <coughs> Duck. One of the most abundant species of duck is the mallards, which can be found in both freshwater and saltwater bodies of water. The male mallards have a green head on top of a white neckband, while the female ones are much drabber in color, dominated by brown speckled plumage. Dog. Dogs are considered to be very loyal and have been bred as a companion and helper to humans for millennia. Do you have one as a pet? Dogs have an excellent sense of smell to differentiate between the different kinds of food they eat and an excellent sense of hearing similar to wild dogs. Elephant. These warm-blooded mammals have long trunks to breathe, smell, touch, grasp objects, drink, and many other things. Elephants also use their tusks to dig for water, especially during the dry season. The water will allow elephants and other animals sharing the same harsh habitats to survive. These giant mammals also leave dung, which is full of seeds because they eat a lot of plants. The seeds will then grow into new grasses, shrubs, and trees to keep the savanna ecosystem healthy. Frog. Frogs are amphibians, which can live in both land and water environments. They eat many insects, including pest insects, which cause damage to crops and beautiful plants in our gardens. Frogs usually lay their eggs in water. Those eggs, called frog spawn, will hatch into baby frogs, called tadpoles, which will gradually grow up and metamorphose into adult frogs. Giraffe. 
Giraffes are the tallest living animal on Earth today. Giraffes' mouths are adapted to grind up and eat plant matter. Their long tongues, which grow to 53 centimeters, help the giraffe to pull down leaves growing way up high. Giraffes are called ruminants as they regurgitate their food and have compartments in their stomach. Did you know that female giraffes give birth standing up? Newborns have to fall from more than one and a half meters height to the ground. Luckily, these infants are quick to get on their feet. Within 30 minutes, they are standing, and in 10 hours, they're able to run around. Horse. Horses are gifted with excellent eyesight, with the largest eyes among any other land mammals, and 360 degrees hearing capability. However, horses have two blind spots where they can't see. One is directly behind them, and the other is directly in front of them. An adult male horse is called a stallion, while an adult female is called a mare. Horses have good memories. If you've been with the same horse for a long time, they will remember you. So be nice to them. Iguana. Iguanas are classified as cold-blooded reptiles since they cannot produce their own body heat. These lizards are very laid-back creatures that love basking in the sun, and they come in many colors. The color of their skins acts as camouflage, allowing them to blend into the landscape. Did you know that iguanas play an important role in spreading seeds for many native plants? Jaguar. Jaguar is the largest big cat of South America. Their most distinctive feature is obviously their orange or tan fur with rose-shaped black spots called rosettes. Jaguars are mammals. They are carnivores and eat a diet rich in meat and fish. <laughs> Jellyfish. Jellyfishes, or jellies, are boneless invertebrates, consisting of a squishy, umbrella-shaped bell with tentacles underneath. They also lack a head, heart, and brain, with 90% of their bodies made up of water. Using its tentacles, a jellyfish will stun small fishes and other invertebrates before catching and bringing them into its mouth. Since jellyfishes play an important role in the food chain in the ocean, they are crucial as well to maintain the balance of the sea ecosystem. Kangaroo. Kangaroos belong to the animal family Macropodidae, which literally means big foot. These large marsupial herbivores move around by hopping. A female kangaroo has a pouch on its belly where its babies live until they are old enough to get out. Did you know that when kangaroos fight, they throw powerful kicks, punches, and sometimes even bite each other, which is why you should never bother a kangaroo. Lion. The lion is famous for its kingly image. The main responsibilities of the lions are to safeguard their territory and protect their pride. 
These carnivores are the only cats that live in groups called prides. A pride has several females, called lionesses, their cubs, and a few males. Did you know that the manes around a lion's neck are not just for show? These manes are meant to protect them during fights with other lions. Monkey. Monkeys often pollinate flowers and spread seeds from the fruits they eat as they travel. That's why monkeys play an important role in the wild. Have you ever wondered why monkeys love bananas? Possibly it's because they live in hot, tropical areas where bananas tend to grow. The yellow fruit serves as a convenient source of food, which not only tastes great, but also provides a lot of nutrients. Narwhal. The narwhal is a species of whale famous for its horn. The swirly horn is actually a tusk, an elongated upper left tooth which only the males have, although some females develop small tusks as well. These tusks are packed with nerves and covered in tiny holes that allow seawater to enter. They give tusks sensitivity that could help narwhals detect changes in their environment, such as temperature or even the water's saltiness. Ostrich. The ostrich is a flightless bird which dwells in hot places, the savannas, deserts, and woodlands of Africa. These omnivores have round bodies and long necks. Ostriches can run as fast as a car. Imagine they can run over 64 kilometers an hour for a short distance and can keep up with speeds reaching more than 48 kilometers an hour over longer distances. Amazing! Octopus. In Greek, octopus means eight-footed, and as its name suggests, this cephalopod has four pairs of arms with circular sucker pads along them, two eyes and a mouth at the center point of its tentacles. Octopus can spray ink not only to hide itself, but also to blind its predator's eyes and distort their sense of smell and taste. Penguin. <laughs> Penguins are another flightless bird, but they don't belong in the sky. They belong in the sea since their wings have evolved into flippers, making them excellent swimmers. Penguins are usually associated with the harsh cold climate of Antarctica, but actually there are a few species that live further north from the southern hemisphere. You may like penguins because they're cute. Unfortunately, their habitats are not always friendly places since there are also leopard seals and seabirds, which are predators that like penguins for their meat. <coughs> Pig. Pigs are intelligent omnivores that eat various kinds of food. They dream just like us and love spending hours to play, sunbathing, exploring, and even listening to music and getting massages. Mother pigs also sing to their babies when nursing, and piglets learn to recognize their mother's voice and respond to their names when called.
Queen bee. Queen bee is a bee whose main responsibility is to reproduce and lay up to 1,500 eggs on a daily basis. In a hive, a queen bee can be recognized from her longer abdomen compared to the other bees. Among 60,000 to 80,000 honeybees, apart from the queen, there are two other members of the hive. Workers, all females, whose role is to give food to the queen, and drones, all males whose role is to mate with the queen. Did you know that honeybees help pollinate all sorts of fruit and vegetables? Raccoon. What animal looks like an expert thief? and wears a mask as a disguise. Yes, that's a raccoon. Raccoons have dark fur covering the area around their eyes, making them look cute. However, these nocturnal omnivores are quite hostile to humans. They can also wreck gardens, make a mess, and can cause damage when they are searching for food. Even though they may cause a lot of troubles, raccoons also bring benefits to humans, since they eat pesky insects and mice. Rabbit. Rabbits are popular as pets due to their calm nature. They would also make natural lawnmowers since rabbits can eat grass all day and need to constantly chew or gnaw at something in order to keep their teeth healthy. Squirrel. There are three types of squirrels. Tree squirrels, ground squirrels, and flying squirrels. However, no matter the types, the teeth of a squirrel continue to grow their entire lives to make sure they will not wear down to stubs from gnawing on acorns, nuts, and other things. These rodents are also known to store food for winter by burying it. <laughs> Snake. Legless, covered in scales, and moves by slithering in silence. Snakes are found in nearly every part of the world, except in the extreme temperatures of Antarctica, some countries such as Ireland and New Zealand, and a number of small islands. Some snakes are venomous, and some are not, but they will only attack their prey or if they feel threatened. Turtle. Turtle here refers to the sea turtle, which is one of the oldest creatures on Earth. The hard shells on their back, called carapaces, are actually formed from their ribs and act like a shield that protect them. Females are known to return to the same nesting ground on the sandy beach where they were born to lay their eggs, after which it will be survival of the fittest for baby turtles to reach the sea and grow up into an adult. Sadly, because turtles are always being hunted by predators and humans, both at the beach and in open waters, it is estimated that only one hatchling out of 1,000 will reach adulthood. That's so sad.
Uriel. The Uriel is a subspecies of the wild sheep, which can be found in barren or grassy terrains of western Central Asia. These herbivores, especially the males, are recognizable by their large horns that curl outward and by the ruffs, usually black in color, on their necks to their chests, whereas the females generally have shorter horns. Vulture. Vultures are carnivorous birds with a scavenging nature, which means they are able to feed on the carcasses of dead animals thanks to their stomach acid. They might not be the cleanest animals, but without them, the earth would get pretty stinky. These bald birds do not harm any other living creatures, and they actually spend all their lives cleaning the environments they are living in, making other animals in their surroundings healthier as well. Well, the black and white well is called the orca, or usually known as the killer well. This mammal is actually more closely related to dolphins rather than whales, and there are around three different types of orcas, which are distinct enough to be classified as its own subspecies or even species, both based on their appearance and lifestyle. Whales breathe air as we do. Therefore, they need to reach the surface of the ocean to breathe from time to time. Whale. Whales may look like giant fish, but they are actually mammals that breathe with their lungs, just like us. From time to time, whales will emerge from the surface of the ocean to breathe. With their huge appetite, whales have an important role in keeping the aquatic food chain and reproduction of other species stable. Do you know that the blue whale is also the largest animal that has ever lived on Earth? No, it's not the dinosaurs but this long-lived endangered sea mammal. X-ray fish. The X-ray fish is one of the very few animals that have transparent bodies. It inhabits South American waters, especially in the Amazon, Orinoco, and the Guianas. Besides the unique trait of its translucent skin, the X-ray tetra is popular to be kept in home aquariums due to being highly tolerant of varied water conditions, from the slightly salty estuary water even to acidic and alkaline waters. Yak. Huge and hairy, yaks could survive at an altitude of 20,000 feet in the Himalayas, the highest elevation for any mammal's habitat. Even though they seem intimidating with their huge stature and menacing horns, especially the males, yaks are actually very friendly in nature, and most of them have been domesticated for their fur, meat, and used as transportation. Zebra. 
Zebras have black and white stripes on their bodies, which is why zebra cross is named after them. The stripes are used to distribute incoming heat and prevent a zebra from overheating in the heat of the African sun. They might also be used as a camouflage tool to confuse predators among tall grasses. A large herd means safety to zebras, and it is usually only when they feel safe that a zebra will sleep standing up. Thank you.